unsurprisingly, Destiny is peppered full of easter eggs and pop culture references that you might have missed while you were busy fighting the forces of darkness. And with Destiny 2 on the horizon, we wanted to take a look at some of the most interesting and humorous ones the game has to offer. Then, boom! It was like an ugly contest where everyone was a winner. This one dude was all, Raw! so I shot him. And then I shot this other one. Shot a couple extra guys just to be safe. <laughs> A reference to one of the most iconic moments from Predator can be found in the name of the PvP medal you're awarded for getting a kill with a throwing knife. Yeah. Stick around. You probably noticed that the Ascendant Energy material bears a slight resemblance to a Pokeball, but this isn't the only reference to the Pocket Monster franchise in Destiny. If you visit Mars and explore some of the structures on the planet, you'll find that some of the doors look strikingly similar to the classic Pokeball design. The exotic helmet Mask of the Third Man has a quote as its item subscription which reads, It wasn't me, it was the third man, which is likely a reference to the classic Jim Carrey comedy The Mask. No. It wasn't me, it was the one-armed man. Interestingly, The Mask was actually referencing another movie called The Fugitive starring Harrison Ford. What happened? Where'd he go? Gotta get a Peter Pan right here off of this dam, right here. What? Yeah, boom. The Ghost Angel Cloak's item description reads, We are an army of the chosen dead. This phrase doesn't seem out of place in the story of Destiny, but it's almost certainly a reference to Dark Souls, where the player character is known as the Chosen Undead. In the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. That's not the only Dark Souls reference either. The heart of Praxic Fire's exotic modification is called Praise the Sun, and its icon shows two hands raised up towards the sky. Praise the Sun is an emote in Dark Souls that, you've guessed it, raises your hands up towards the sky. In Old Russia, there is a patrol mission called All in the Game, where you need to find wire wraps. This is almost certainly a reference to the HBO classic The Wire. The mission title relates to the final scene of the first season, where Omar Little declares, All in the game, yo. <laughs> All in the game. <laughs> of course, Bungie couldn't miss out on the opportunity to create an homage to one of their most iconic characters from the Halo series, the Master Chief. During a Mars strike mission, you can find this tower that looks a lot like everyone's favourite Spartan. A second reference to the Chief can be found at the end of the Cade Slash mission. There are a number of pods around the room, and if you approach one of them, you can scan it. Pod number 10201. A guardian with exceptional light sealed himself inside. He's been in there for centuries. Before I found you, I tried to resurrect him, but he preferred to sleep. He said the last war was enough for a thousand lifetimes. This is a nod to the end of the first core trilogy of Halo games, when the Master Chief locked himself in a pod and told his AI Cortana, Wake me when you need me. It's not just Bungie's most famous game that gets a reference either. The unavailable exotic ship, Manicella D, which is Latin for Swift Hand of God, is a direct reference to the Dreadnought of the same name in Marathon 2, which is pretty cool if you're a long-time Bungie fan. But what's even more awesome is that the description of the ship is actually Bungie's corporate motto, which translates to, don't make us kick your ass. Four Arms Good, Two Arms Better is an old Russia patrol mission that takes its name from the George Orwell classic Animal Farm, where the pigs introduce the commandment, Four legs good, two legs bad. Some references are quite a bit less subtle, such as the TFWPKY 1969 hand cannon, a throwback to Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Why are you crazy? The fall will probably kill you. And then the Dr. Nope auto rifle is almost certainly a nod to the classic James Bond movie and novel Dr. No. Bungie Studios is located in Seattle, the home of the Seahawks, and Bungie have shown their support for the local team by hiding the team's logo in plain sight as the Sunbreaker Titan's flaming hammer. Many weapons and armor pieces also use the Seahawks colors. Yalahorn is one of Destiny's most well-known weapons, but the origin of the name is actually pretty cool. In Norse mythology, Yalahorn is the horn sounded to warn about the onset of Ragnarok, the Norse apocalypse. Asgard is dead. Under the ice. 
After completing the World's Grave mission on the moon, you can find a chest that contains the Jade Rabbit insignia. This is actually based on the Moon Rabbit, a famed figure in Chinese, Japanese and Korean folklore. The rabbit lives on the moon and creates herbs for the immortals. One of the most crazy things about Destiny is actually how many other games and TV shows have made references to it. For example, Nathan Fillion, the voice of Cade 6, manages to slip in a wink to the game in his day job on Castle. Come on, Ryan, you're telling me you have no desire to go to Mars. I prefer my oxygen without a can. Where's your sense of adventure, of exploration, of destiny? Peter Dinklage, the voice of the ghost in Vanilla Destiny and star of Game of Thrones, shot a scene in which he sat in front of a window that had a very familiar design. It's one hell of a coincidence, if that's not meant to be a ghost. In World of Warcraft's Legion expansion, the character Zurios was added to the game, a clear reference to Destiny's mysterious item vendor. Dying Light also snuck in a joke about Destiny's infamous loot cave that saw players killing thousands of Hive until it was patched out of the game. Hidden in the top right of the Dying Light map is a cave. Venture inside and your destiny is to build your legend and get loot appears as a message on screen. After fighting a horde of zombies, a new message appears that reads enough. Patch 1.0.2 has been activated, better do some quests. During the Netflix show Travelers, a reference is made to five of Destiny's guns. Patience and time, down and out, touch of malice, the last word, and the fourth horseman. Whoa, that is a lot of cash you're flushing down the toilet. One Destiny easter egg actually remained hidden for years inside of Bungie's previous game Halo 3 ODST, which was released back in 2009. A sign can be found in game that shows an image of Earth with a white orb floating above it, a reference to the Traveller, and above it the sign reads Destiny Awaits. Unfortunately the sign has been changed in the remastered version of ODST as by the time it was released Halo was no longer in the hands of Bungie. Back to Destiny itself again and there are of course references to Bungie's lucky number 7 found all over the game. If you've followed the studio for a long time, you'll be familiar with their obsession with the number 7. From the 7th column logo to the 7 halo rings and even their studio's 7 pillars of design, it's something that means a lot to the team. So it's no surprise that in Destiny you can find things like the 77 Wizard Fusion Rifle, the 7 Seraph Faction, an achievement for getting a Grimoire score of 777 called Lucky Sevens and a 7th column medal for scoring 7 kills in rapid succession. Even the Dead Orbit logo looks like a number 7. There are also numerous references to Vladimir Komarov all over the game. Vladimir was the first human to die while on a space mission, and Bungie have gone to great efforts to honour his memory in various pieces of armour as well as the Cloak of the Cosmonaut. In Destiny's Age of Triumph update, a little easter egg to one of the most infamous lines from Peter Dinklage's performance as the Ghost was added to the game. Nolan North of course replaced Dinklage as part of the Taken King expansion, but now if you complete the mission The Dark Within, the ghost will revert back to its previous voice actor for a few moments. That wizard came from the <coughs> From the moon. Came from the moon. Lastly, during the King's Fall Raid, you can find a hidden room with a basketball court. It's not a special reference or anything like that, but it's a pretty cool easter egg nonetheless. Do you know of any more easter eggs or jokes that we missed? Let me know in the comments below. As always, this is James for Curse saying thanks for watching and enjoy the game.